Hey fans, I'm Melissa Cito from the PPR and I'm here with Pisa Tino Isamoa. He's Tri-City Christian's defensive coordinator who went to University of Hawaii and played in the NFL. Can you please just tell me what it was like to have those recruiting visits and you know going up to the next level twice actually, not just to college. Right. Um, it, it was it got harder with each level. It wasn't as fun and easy as high school, um, at least for me. Um, but I tell you what, knowing like, hey, I'm getting closer to your dreams is, is something that I mean, I'll never forget. So the transition was a little rough then. Um, at, at points, you know, definitely from college to the NFL, it was really difficult. But um, I knew, and I, I was actually taught very well, coached very well at a young age. So I just carried over some of those lessons um, over into. You know the, the big leagues and it actually really helped. So most high school kids yeah. dream about playing at a university and furthering their football career. Because you got drafted in 03 by St. Louis Rams, can you tell me what that felt like? Just draft days are coming up. Right. How was the emotion around? Oh man, it was uh, <laughs> when it gets closer and, and you don't know because I mean, there's a lot of speculation about where you might go, but not knowing for sure is, is, is pretty intense in itself. But uh, once I finally got my name called, it was, you know, it, all those years of hard work, you realize, like, it, it all came to that. And to hear your name announced by the commissioner was awesome. Um, but then, you know, you can't enjoy that too long because now you got to go to training camp and mini camp. So, you know, I, I had my focus right, and, and thankfully, I had my focus, focus right, so I was able to kind of play for a little bit. Now, with all the years that you've played in the NFL, uh, what's kind of your biggest memory, one of your most memorable ones? I know, I'm sure there's a ton. Yeah, I, you know, between the draft and then I think uh, the furthest I went was uh, we lost the game for the playoffs. So uh, I was playing with the Chicago Bears at that point. Um, we were playing the Green Bay Packers to see who was going to go to the, to the Super Bowl. And uh, unfortunately, we lost, but I mean, playing in... Uh, at Soldier Field against the Green Bay Packers in 11 degree weather is uh, is pretty memorable. So I'd have to say probably next to being drafted, that would have to be it. So you now coach at Tri City Christian. You interned this summer at or with the San Diego Chargers. Is that something you want to do in the future? Uh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I, um, you know, being in a league, you you, um, you you get it good. You get to. Uh, I mean, it's football 24/7. So to be able to coach 24/7 and I have to worry about recruiting like you do in college and and uh, some of the other stuff. It, it definitely is probably a goal that uh, you know I'd love to achieve and attain. Well, good luck to you for the rest of the season and your future career too. Thank you, uh, thank you for speaking with us. Okay. I'm Melissa Cito from the PPR.